In February, two massive earthquakes occurred in Turkey that killed at least 50,000 people. The first and the biggest one, 300 kilometers long, began on a short branch of Turkey's East Anatolian Fault. An analysis of the earthquake done by Scripps Oceanography showed it became a cascade of ruptures. It broke through many fault bends and junctions that can usually stop the slippage. Scripps seismologist Zhe Jia was lead author of an article about the analysis in the journal Science. When a certain fault segment ruptures, it will communicate with other faults uh, and generate stress perturbations, uh, make the other faults uh, to rupture one by one. Uh, Eventually, uh, during this process, uh, process, uh, the earthquake will uh, grow in its size and length turn into a devastating size. The first earthquake jumped from the branch fault to the main path of the Anatolian fault. It's known that earthquakes sometimes sometimes jump from rupture from one fault to the other. Uh, the element that was surprising was that it actually jumped and started propagating in both directions. The Turkey earthquakes were what's called a doublet. The rupture of the second one in eastern Turkey, which happened nine hours later, was half as long but nearly the same magnitude. Its power was due partly to the tremendous speed of the rupture. Ja says the tragedy was multiplied as many people entered buildings after the first earthquake to save people and possessions. But then the second earthquake with similar size occurs and it will damage the already weakened buildings again and make extra uh, casualties. The fault lines in the Turkey earthquake shifted or slipped about 8 to 10 meters. The 1994 Northridge earthquake in Los Angeles only slipped 3 meters. This graphic shows as white dots the thousands of aftershocks that followed the Turkey Tembler, but the 7.8 magnitude earthquake that happened there could happen here. Fialdo says the Anatolian fault line in Turkey should look very familiar to Californians. It's almost one-to-one correspondence to the San Andreas, both in terms of the total length, the total displacement and maturity, uh, also the long-term slip rate, so the rate at which the plates are moving um, away from each other at some distance. Uh, There are great similarities between these two fault systems. Earthquake experts say the magnitude of the first February earthquake in Turkey was roughly the same as the 1906 earthquake that devastated San Francisco. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.